Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss depth limited search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a solved example. Depth limited search algorithm is a modified version of a DFS algorithm. So first we will try to understand how DFS algorithm works and then we will go to depth limited search algorithm. In DFS algorithm, we will start at the root node and then we will try to search the left subtree and uh, if you get this particular goal node we will stop over there otherwise we will try to search the right subtree of each and every the subtrees over here so in this case uh, you can see here uh, f is a goal node over here so we will start at this particular uh, node a the left subtree of this particular thing is over here that is it will go to this particular b first now b is not a goal node so it will go to the left subtree of this particular b that is uh, d and then when it comes to this particular D, again D is not a goal node, so it will go to this particular G. So once it reaches this particular left node, it will try to get the right of this particular D, so it will come to this particular H. Again H is not a goal node, so it will go to backside or you can say that a backtracking and then it will try to get this particular right side that is E here. Now E is also not a goal node, so it will go back to this particular C and then C is not a goal node, it will further travel in this particular direction and we will reach this particular F over here. So the final uh, path to reach this particular F looks something like this, A to B, B to D, D to G, G to H, H to E, E to C and C to F over here. So this is how actually the depth first search algorithm works. Now what is the problem in this particular case is? Let us say that we have been given a tree which is having a very huge uh, number of uh, levels and all and your uh, goal is present on the uh, right side of that particular tree. So what will happen is it will go on searching that particular tree till it reaches the leaf node and then uh, it will come to that particular right side. So it will take a lot of time as well as the length of that particular path is not optimal in that particular case. To avoid this particular thing, what we do is we use something called as a depth limited search algorithm. Here we will put a restriction on that particular depth. Rather than going up to this particular leaf node, it will go only up to this particular depth and then it will come back to the right hand side of this particular tree. So again we will start at this particular uh, the root node A. In this case we have set the depth as 2. So this is at depth uh, 0. Level 0 means uh, uh, this is uh, depth 0. So it will go to this particular left side that is A, uh, B sorry. And then uh, this is level 1. So because it is level 1 it will go to the next level that is uh, D. Again D is not a goal node and uh, we have reached this particular depth. Depth is equal to 2 here and we have reached that particular thing. So what it does is rather than going with the G here it will go to the right hand side of this particular thing and then it will reach this particular E here. Now again when you come to this particular E, we have reached this particular depth that is 2, so it will not go to this particular I. It will go back to this particular C and that will be the next node in this particular case. And then from this particular C, it will go to this particular F and when it goes to this particular F, we have reached this particular goal node. So in this case, uh, the path with respect to depth limited search is a to B, B to D, D to E, E to C and C to F over here. But associated uh, path with respect to DFS looks something like this, which is not optimal compared to this particular depth limited search over here. So in this video, I have explained uh, what is the difference between depth uh, limited search with respect to D DFS. Uh, also, we have solved an example to understand depth limited search. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.